too. Super gifted dude. And he makes all his routes look the same. But his change direction just is so elite. Like I just never seen somebody accelerate that fast. I haven't seen that from anyone. Well. What's his 40? Six foot one, 100 kgs. Pick number four in the 2015 draft. He's made four Pro Bowls, 15, 16, 18, and 19. And he ran a 40 yard dash in 442. He's big. Biased about the talents of Amari Cooper. Look at these guys. Amari Cooper, that's my guy. That's my guy. I wrote. I mean, Ezekiel, I, I can't work Ezekiel Elliott out. Honestly, I can't. This has been the first season. I've watched it for two seasons. It's been the first season that I've actually given him, you know, some of my time. Uh, it's, it's definitely the first season I've seen him talk so much. But I just can't work him out. I can't work out what he's like. What is he like? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you reckon about, what do you think about Ezekiel Elliott and why? So for Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, that's my guy. That's my guy, roll tie till we die, you know. <laughs> but what about his other peers around the league? This is his third time being voted to the top 100 and it's his highest ranking yet. Ball player, straight ball player. For sure one of the best receivers in the league. Kind of like Michael Thomas from the Saints. Touchdown to Amari Cooper! Favorite receiver to watch out for the full team. That's tough. I probably would say between Keenan Allen and Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, just from watching his play, you know how he runs routes. See, I do love hearing other players in that position talk about who their favorite players to watch are because that is, that is the utmost respect. It really is. You know, if you've got a guy like Mike Evans um, talking about, you know, a fellow wide receiver, you know, they must be good. You know, if you've got these elite wide receivers actually giving kudos and saying that they enjoy watching these other wide receivers, like they enjoy actually getting something from their game, you know, that means something. He's one of the best front runners that I've seen. Amari Cooper from Alabama has got the look at DeAndre Baker from Georgia on him. And just as it plays out, using him Alabama. That was a good release. Alabama wins. It was a good release. He's pacing routes, how he gets in and out of the routes. Excellent footwork and body movement by Amari Cooper. That draws the hole from Howard, but he's still able to break away. Beauty. Now go again. <laughs> when he gets the ball. Nice. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what, though. That uniform. That teal and orange. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's mighty nice. Body movement by Amari Cooper. That draws the hole from Bang. Howard, but he's still able to... Bang. Break away and get plenty of separation. Mm. When he gets the Defender just didn't have enough pace. Ball in his hand, you know, he always finds a way to the end zone. He's a person who's very electric with the ball in the hand. That's it, I like that Cooper's tires are legit, helping him get in and out of turns and do some fancy work along the rails. had a toe-tap trifecta against Minnesota. Cooper making the catch. You can't defend that, right? That ball is three yards outside the boundary. Oh my God, he made three catches like that in the, in the one game, including a touchdown. How does he do it? What? Time after time. What? Not one, not two, three. That boy nuts! When I was getting ready for the game and watching him, he was going against a great corner in Jai Alexander. He had over 200 yards that day, and it was going to get a good corner, so that just goes to show you what type of receiver he is. Bro, he's got that Tony toe tap down. He motioned from one side to the next, and he ran like a double move. And you could just tell that his routes are just like nobody. Was he, was he, was he running at the time that the ball was snapped? To show you what type of receiver he is. He motioned from one side to the next. Yeah. Yeah, he was. That route was basically just one one massive looping run. He ran like a double move, and you could just tell
feel that he's raw, so just like nobody else. Went to the inside, then broke hard back to the outside, and Alexander couldn't stay with that cut. Tiger's had his uh, issues here today, hasn't he? Amari Cooper. This play right here? Oh, this me right here. Oh, yeah, now we talk. <laughs> I actually saw this guy in a presser for the Packers with a previous fella whose name was, and I quite liked it, I did quite like it, his name was Preston Smith. Yes, we saw Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith. Now they might be brothers, I'm not sure. But we did see them both having a great time after having balled out talking to the press. And I think it was the glasses and the necklace that got me with this guy. Especially the glasses, I, 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 I like the look of players being comfortable enough to wear glasses because of the fact that I wear glasses. Anyways guys, that is enough for that video. In the next one we're looking at a Packers player, which means I don't have a Packers jersey, but I do have something. Okay, we're good. Zadarius Smith. I'm looking forward to this one. He's a Packers linebacker and it's about time we check him out. Thanks for watching guys. Your support is much appreciated. I do this for you and nothing else. It's not for the money, it's for entertainment. And I hope you're being entertained. Are you not entertained? Well, I probably wouldn't be, but for some reason you guys are. I give my opinion on all of these players as a rugby player myself. Now, it's been a while since I've actually really gone into a deep dive on one of these players and compared them to a rugby player. Now, I don't know why that is. Is that because I'm not seeing the comparisons anymore? Is that because I don't have all these rugby players fresh in my head anymore? I'm not sure. Maybe I should try. Maybe I should try a bit harder in the future to include more rugby stats, players, history in these videos. Let's see what happens. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.